afternoon and welcome to Times of Refreshing right here on Scarlet Thread Ministries Facebook page. We just want to say good afternoon and welcome. Come join us as um, we sit and discuss God's word on this lovely Wednesday afternoon as we remain locked down. You know, I don't know if some of you are essential and working, but, you know, come take a listen with us. Um, Acts chapter, um, verse, um, chapter 4 and verse 12 says, nor is there salvation in any other, for there is no other name under heaven given among men by which we must be saved, right? And that name is the name of Jesus that has been given to us by which we must be saved. It is not a religion. It is relationship with him, right? So there is no other name. Every tongue shall bow, every knee shall bow, every tongue shall confess that jesus christ is lord amen so um we'll open up with a word of prayer and then we'll dive straight into our discussion so heavenly father we <clears throat> thank you this afternoon oh god for life for health for strength for your son jesus christ oh god we thank you for that powerful name that we can call upon um at any time oh god lord and we know that we will be we, we will be delivered when we call upon that name of god lord and heavenly father we just leave this um segment into your hands this afternoon oh god we say just that your will be done have your way oh god lord we pray for our listening and viewing audience this afternoon that their hearts will be ministered as we keep our hands to the plow oh god heavenly father as we continue to do your work oh god lord we pray for all those seeds that have been planted that you keep watering it and nurturing it oh god heavenly father that eventually good fruit will start to um, bear, oh God, Heavenly Father, and through that will remain, oh God, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Yeah. So I'm here in my cabin, you know, <laughs> I <feel, laughs> where I feel right at home. Yes, song. I like you in the cabin. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. And, and that's a good place to have to. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, this is, this is my little favorite place right here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So um, you see the cases rising with the COVID. You see everybody, churches locked down. Yeah. Churches, and people complaining, they're, they're protesting, they're carrying on because churches locked down and, and, they, and they have to, to, you know, and they want to know what to do. But I have, and this is what I'm going to discuss today, but I would like to give you some food for thought. Um, if, if, um, if a, a Mecca, had an earthquake and, and, and mash up and was destroyed. And if Rome was destroyed too, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is that the end of Islam or Roman Catholicism? Wow, that is food for thought. Does that place, or let's just say al Aqsa Mosque in, in, in Jerusalem, um, is, and does that mean that, 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 that is about the third holiest place in Islam? And does that mean that, that is the end of Islam, so Islam is, is no longer... I will no, I no, I no longer be in existence because the place, a place was destroyed, a place, uh, you know, and that is considered holy. Right. The same way, um, the same way, um, and the same way when the temple in Jerusalem was destroyed, Rome burned the temple, probably thinking, well, they would uh, destroy a Judaism mm -hmm. and, 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 um, and destroy the Jews. And what happened? The Jews survived. The temple mm -hmm. was, uh, was destroyed, the priesthood was a dismantled it had no more king in israel but israel still survived right so those people who thinking well okay the church we can't go to church we can't the, the jews survived two thousand years right without a temple or right. what they had a synagogue or without the temple mm -hmm. that, that 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 um and that they had for all those years twice the temple and was destroyed but they didn't destroy judaism mm -hmm. the jews or israel and wasn't there destroyed Right. So even if we can't go in the church, and that's the question I'm asking, is the church, is the bill in the church? You hear a lot of people saying that, um, oh, the church, um, the church, uh, you know, the church is the people. Well, this is an opportunity to prove where the church is the people. Right, true. And not a building. Because if that building is destroyed for whatever reason, by flood or fire or, or, or wars or whatever it is, it, it, it should not mean the end of that of their belief and and your faith should not be based on where you worship, but on who you worship. True. So everybody who complaining about church clothes and this clothes and that clothes, however it is, the spirit of the Lord dwell in you. You are the temple of the Holy Ghost. Yes. Right? 
So yeah. don't worry. Don't take it on as, as they say, right? And don't worry. Just, 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 you know, you have the spirit of the Lord overtain you. Call mm -hmm. a friend, call somebody, where two or three is gathered, where there's an, an Bible. I didn't say if it was in person or on the phone or, or on WhatsApp or, or, or on Zoom. Wherever two or three is gathered, God is in the midst there. Yeah. Right? And, yeah. Um, and this is something we have to look at. And let's forget about our weather churches close. If it closed, it closed. Mm -hmm. Even if it was, if it was um, planned by, 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 by certain people to close the church and destroy Christianity, when we are weak or when we seem to be weak, then are we strong? And that's what True. the Bible says. Yeah. So whether the church open or close, it doesn't matter to, to me or it shouldn't matter to anybody else. Right. Right. So let's just forget right. about the church thing. And we're uh -huh. close and do go out and, and carry on all kind of thing. But today I want to talk about Balaam, boy. Balaam. Uh -huh. <laughs> it happened any prophecy going wrong. It happened any prophecy going wrong. So I just want uh -huh. some people to understand how God has operated. God, God is not in our box and he is God. Yeah. Whether you like it or how you operate or not, he is still God. And whatever he do, he chooses to do. True. And how he chooses to do it. True. So I want to talk about Balaam a little bit now. Everybody's bad talk Balaam. And, and, and what makes me think about Balaam, the Prime Minister said, don't jackass the thing. <laughs> but, and people talking about that, right? Don't jackass the thing. But in this, in Balaam now, Balaam was riding an ass, but the, the, the Bible refers to the ass as she. So this yeah. was a jackass. This was a jenny ass, a female jack, a female donkey. A right. ass. Right. So people feel it wrong to say ass. Your ass is in the Bible. Good. So all yeah. who, have the, who have it, I'm back in the prime minister. I'm just saying that when he yeah. said, do jackass this scene, he didn't curse or a rally. He was speaking about a male donkey. <laughs> the same way, you see people too religious. Mm -hmm. So the Bible say ass. I'll, I'll, I'll prove it here. I'll, 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 I'll read that here because Balaam was riding an ass. Right. Bible say, and Balaam beat the ass three times with a stick. Mm -hmm. Right? So yeah. don't come at this religious thing and, and to say, and people talking about, the, uh, about jackass. A female a donkey is a jenny ass. So we're gonna talk about Balaam who had a female donkey, which is a jenny ass. Right. Right. And he do the same thing the prime minister tell people do do uh, uh, with that donkey. Right. So and that's not the issue today. Today is really and Balaam out of what Balaam because a lot of people are talking about a prophetic and the prophecies and all kind of thing. And I feel released. I release to speak about Balaam today. Okay. So Balaam now. What I'm telling Balaam, eh? Balaam now, right? Elam was a um, he 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 was a um, I hear no noise by you there. So he uh, so Balaam now he was a um, I would call a prophet, mm -hmm. but I, I, I haven't seen anywhere in the Bible where Balaam is or was really a prophet. Okay. So I'll be reading today from the book of Numbers, chapter 20, to start in there, and I'll go on to show you some of the things that that that, that happened with God and Balaam and, and the king of Moab called Balak. Now, Israel uh, was on the verge of, of going over to the, the, uh, to the promised land. Um, and what happened now, they, uh, and they beat up um, the Amalekites, right? Right. They kill them and destroy them. And just before, uh, Moses was still with them. Mm -hmm. And in the book of Numbers, around here now, uh, Moses had to relinquish his position and give it to Joshua. Right? So Joshua was there with him. But I want to talk about Balaam now, because uh, what happened now in, in, in Numbers chapter 22, and... And I started from verse 1, but, but I want to read from the Bible because I want people to understand what it is I'm seeing. I don't want anybody, I don't want to mislead anybody, and I want to quote exactly where in the Bible I'm getting all this information from, and they can check it for themselves. The Bible yeah. said, I study the word to show itself approved. A workman need not be ashamed of rightly dividing the word of truth. Yeah. All right? So be mm -hmm. quick to, 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 to speak about your, um, about your faith. So I'm beginning from chapter, on chapter from chapter 22 and verse 1 in the book of Numbers, right? Mm -hmm. So this is what happened now. And, and the children of Israel set forward and pitched in the plains of Moab on this side of, Jer of the Jordan by Jericho, right? Verse mm -hmm. 2 now. And Balak, the son of Zippo, saw all that Israel had done to the Amorites. Sorry, I say Amalekites, but the Amorites. So at that time now, Israel defeat the, uh, the Amorites. And is, mm -hmm. is, is, is a big, is a, is a lot of them. So in right. verse 3 now, and Moab was so afraid of the people because there were many, and Moab was distressed because of the children of Israel. And look what Moab do now. And Moab said unto the elders of Midian, 
Now, Moab and Midian is two different tribes. Eh? Remember, right. Moses had gotten a Maritime Midianite woman. So Moab and, 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 and Midian is two tribes who are mm -hmm. on that side of the Jordan. So, the, so Moab said unto the elders of Midian, now shall this company lick up all that around about us as the ox lick it up the grass of the field. And Balak, the son of Zippor, was king of the Moabites at that time. So I saw Balak end up in this. So here what Balak do. And Balak, he sent messengers. He sent a messenger, therefore, unto Balaam, the son of Baal, to Peter, which is by the river of the land of the children of his people, to call him, saying, Behold, there is a people come out from Egypt. Behold, they cover the face of the earth, and they abide against uh, uh, um, over against me. Over against me, there means over in front of me, or they abide in front of me, or they dwell in, in front of me. Now, they didn't go into the promised land yet. Or what they were doing now, they were dwelling there. They were they just and they feed the Amorites, and they were waiting to go into the promised land. Because remember, Moses was still the, 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 and the leader, and he couldn't go into the promised land. God already spoke to him. So, mm -hmm. Lord, in the book of Numbers, Moses now came to the Lord and tell him, well, look, Lord, listen, they uh, choose a leader. But there's our next story that I want to discuss with you because Moses told God it's time to choose a leader, but God didn't choose any of Moses' sons. He had two sons. God chose Joshua. Mm -hmm. So that's right. for another discussion. But then verse yeah. 6 now. Mm -hmm. um, verse 6 says, Now come therefore I pray thee. And this is Balak sending people to Balaam. Eh? Mm -hmm. The king of Moab sending people to Balaam. He, say, he sent a message as a Therefore, unto Balaam, right? And he tell him to come. So verse 6 says now, and this is what, and this is the, the message and Balak sent to Balaam. Come now, therefore, I pray thee, curse me this people, for they are too mighty for me. Who advent here, all right, or, 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 so that I shall prevail, that we may smite them, and that I may drive them out of the land. For I what, I what, eh? the Bible says I what. I what, that means I know. Okay. What? What is a Hebrew word which means I know that he whom thou blesses is blessed, and he whom thou curses is cursed. So this is the king of Moab and Balak telling um I'm telling um this boy um Balaam, listen, I know, I know who you bless is blessed, and who you curse is cursed, right? So, and this is the situation we're going on there. So so he is now saying, he is now saying now. He is now saying, um, okay, um, who, whoever you bless is blessed and who you curse is cursed. So we call Balaam now and, and, for, and for Balaam to curse the people. But, but and look at what Balaam do. So we know now that Balaam was a successful seer man, a successful obia man, right? Mm -hmm. He cursed somebody, cursed them. And if he, if, if he blessed them, they were blessed. So he was like a kind of a, a demigod, if you want to call it that, right? Okay. So look at verse 7 now, right? After they talked to, uh, and they talk about him, and the, the elders of Moab and the elders of, of Median departed with the rewards of divination in their hand. So in those days, if somebody was uh, performing a, a, a divination, or in general, they call it obia, right? Did they receive a price, uh, which is the same way a trader is now, right? Mm -hmm. You see, they went with rewards of divination in their hand, and they came unto Balaam and speak unto him the words of Balak. Mm -hmm. Now, and there's what Balaam are telling them. And he said unto them, Lord, here tonight. Well, let's stay here tonight. And I will bring you word again. I will return to you with word as the Lord shall speak unto me and the princes of Moab about it with Balaam, right? Mm -hmm. So, and this word there now in verse 8, he said, as the Lord, as the Lord there is, is Jehovah. This is God he's talking about. Yeah. So Balaam now, who, who used to curse people and who used to bless people, is God he consulted, Jehovah. Do you understand the point I'm making here? Yeah. This word that the Bible used here is Jehovah, Lord, I'm Jehovah. So um, Balaam now here it is, he's I'm considered, a, well, let's say he's a prophet too. But here it is now, he cursing people and he blessing people and he consulting God, but he was not Jew, he was not, and he was not, well, in them days they are not Christian. Yeah. So he is not a Jew. Right, he, he mm -hmm. a, a prophet of the Jewish people, and he is mm -hmm. not a Christian, but they are not Christian Christ because Christ didn't come yet. So it right. is God now who was visiting him and talking to him, mm -hmm. and he's seeking the Lord to curse people and to bless people. You understand? Yeah, so right away. And when people say, and you know, 
I, I go in and I, I talk about and what people said. So, in verse 8 now, and God came unto Balaam, in verse 9. And God, now that God there is not Jehovah, that God there is Elohim. Okay. Right? Some mm -hmm. scholars believe that Elohim is spirit of the Lord, because that word unto means into or enter. Mm -hmm. So I ain't going to enter that today. That's a different discussion. So, and Elohim, not Jehovah, Elohim, came unto Balaam and said, what is men doing here? Or what are these men already? And Balaam said unto Elohim, <coughs> Balak, the son of Zippor, king of Moab, has sent me, has said unto me, saying, come and curse these people who come out of Egypt. Right? Now, here it is, Balak um, um, and Balaam, you know who is them people? At that time, nobody you know is God people, right? Right. So here it is now, Balaam, Cursing people and blessing people was consulting God. And this is what the Bible is saying. The Bible is saying that 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 um, that, um, that that Balaam is to consult God and God right. is to visit him. Right. Okay? Mm -hmm. So God is to visit Balaam. Now, so what happened now? When when God visited Balaam, he tell him, hey, don't go. Tell Balaam, don't go. I tell him, don't go with, with, um, with them. Okay? So yeah. um, Balaam went and went to the people now and he tell them. Listen, I, I, I can't go. The Lord, he say, um, the Lord, right? I cannot go beyond the word of the Lord, my God. Mm -hmm. Right? And, and this is in, in, verse eight, in, in, in verse 18. Right? He said, I cannot go beyond the word of, of the Lord, uh, my God, to bless, um, I mean, to do less or more. So here right. it is now. The Lord, my God, is Jehovah, my God, or Jehovah Elohim. So he, you know, Balaam is speaking to God. You understand the point I'm making? Mm -hmm. Balaam is speaking to God. So, so he come out now and he go down now and then God tell him no, don't go. So the next thing you know now, Balaam end up, um, the, um, um, he tell people like I go, he say, even Balak and give me his whole palace with um, solar silver and gold. I still can't do nothing unless, the, unless God release me, right? Right. So True. anyhow, so, so what Balak do now? Typical mercenary. I would say Balak was a mercenary. Because the name, the word um, Balak in the, in the Hebrew means without people. Okay. Right? He's without mm -hmm. people. It's like he, he, he or, 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 or some, some, um, some Jewish um, uh, uh, mishras, or which is, is um, his commentaries, refer to him as a man without justice or honor or loyalty. Sorry. He was a man without loyalty. He ain't care. Once you pay me, a good sum of money, listen, you know what happened? I go do what you want me to do for you. You want me to bless okay. somebody or curse somebody like all them men now. Come by me if your husband leave you or your wife leave you or you want to do your neighbor bad or you want to do this one. Same thing like Balaam. Okay. A charlatan. Same thing. The same way Balaam operating, the others operate. I go in and walk some Obi on this one for you. According to Sparrow, um, he, he have a song called um, Witch Doctor, right? He, he call a whole list of things. He say, Two white rats, some macawell fat, donkey blood, and a rabbit spoke. <laughs> That's in Sparrow Calypso. This is in Sparrow I'm, I'm, I'm Calypso. Truth. But Sparrow yeah. sang that. He was speaking about, about the witch doctors, and that's how the Obia men and them operate in Trinidad. So Balaam tell them here what's going on. I can't go, but because God is sending me, and, and God has released me to go there. So what Balaam come and do now? He, he relaxing now. I know what Balak mm -hmm. do. Balak mm -hmm. sent back more. Prominent people from in the in the in the in the kingdom. He was the king. He sent a set of princes back. And he tell them, mm -hmm. here we're going. If you come and curse these people for me, what happened? I will give you a, a place of honor. Okay. I'll give you a place of honor. I'm going to uh, uh, you know and lift you up and give you a position and, and, and money and thing. Right? So they go back by mm -hmm. Balak with that. And uh, and what happened now? Balak end up saying, Well, let me check God again. Now. Let me check God again. So Balak going back by God now. And he do the same. He said, oh, hold on. I'm going to talk to God. And God go visit me. So when God come back now and talk to Balak, after God tell him, don't go, he, he, he waited on God again. He said, God, you know, Balak send these fellas and them for me. Right? He sent all these fellas for me and, um, and, um, and, and things. So God took too long and tell him, okay, go. Now, sometimes we ask God for something. And God said, no, or wait. But you know, mm -hmm. we keep harassing God. We keep going back. You ask him for something, you ain't get it, and you keep, but you keep going back and going back. But God say, no, don't go. Right. right? He said, Balak, don't go. So Balak go back again, and he try another thing again. Right? So the yeah. same God said, well, go ahead. Here, I'm, here, I'm here to do. You go ahead, right? Mm -hmm. you, you, you go ahead. For I will well, promote learn. you. Go and learn your lesson. 
No, wait, tell, tell Balak, tell Balak, well, okay, you could go ahead, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. he, he said you could go ahead. So go, and verse 20 says, And God came unto Balaam at night and said unto him, If the men shall call you, rise up and go with them. But yet the word which I shall say unto thee, that you shall speak. So God now was speaking to Balaam. Right. Right? Mm-hmm. Go, and, God, and God visited Balaam, as I, I keep saying, and Balaam ain't no, ain't no, ain't no prophet. He ain't no, he, he's, he's, he's just a regular Obey man. Yeah, you yeah. understand what I'm saying? Yeah. He blessed people and cursing people for money. He's a mercenary. Yeah. Right? How many of those we have around today? How many of those? I saw an article from, um, from um, Aaron, post an article from this girl, Avanel Hector. I think it was excellent. I think it, 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 it you know, it, it spoke... It, 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 it says, is it truth? Okay. Right? Mm -hmm. I have an like the article. Yeah, so, so what happened now? So go tell them, go. But, but, but here we're going to, when you go, you can't say, and don't tell them anything. And you can't say, um, and you can't say, you only say what I put in your mouth. So that means right. God was speaking through the man. Right. So remember the, the, the gist of the story here. Balaam was not a prophet of God. But he was hired by Balak to curse Israel, who was in front of Balak and looking across because he would defeat them. Mm -hmm. He also said to, to, uh, to Balaam, who you bless is bl I know. I what? It means I know. I know who you bless is blessed. And who you curse is cursed. Right. Right? So Balaam, now we know now where Balaam was get getting his power from. Balaam was getting his power from God. Right. But before he could curse somebody, God had to tell him, curse, uh, allow him or, or, or disallow him. Right. Because as we go down now, Balaam, and it's the same principle, so Balaam are telling um, and Balak here, what going on? And let me go on this mountain here. Now go tell him, go by, go put the word in him out. So he following the same principles. He do something, tell him here what to do. Get seven oxen and seven goat and thing. And build our a, 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 a altar. Let me sacrifice them thing. Yeah. So they sacrifice the animals, right? Mm -hmm. Right? And they sacrifice the animal. And, and, and when they sacrifice the animals, now God spoke, spoke to Balaam. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Tell Balaam here, what going on? Say Balaam here, what going on? Right? Um, do dig nothing. Good. We, 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 and we're going up to the high places. And we're going up to the high places. And we're going and deal with the people and them. So bring seven ram for me. Seven oxen and thing. And let me, and let me have a, um, a, a little offering. Yeah, and we're yeah. going to offer offering. So they do yeah. the thing and, 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 and Balak do, and do everything. And, and verse 5 of chapter 23 now. I hear, I hear what happened. And the Lord, and this is Jehovah, put a word in Balaam's mouth and said, Return unto Balak. And this is what he will say. So he went to him and he said, He took up his parable, which means he lift up his, 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 um, in those days, a parable, that, that really mean a proverb. So prophets, I used to speak like a, a, a poet. The Greek word for prophet means poet too. Eh? Okay. So they're speaking like a poet. So as, as, as he lift up his parable, here we, I, I'm here what he's saying. Right? <clears throat> um, and Balaam start, and Balaam start to bless them. Right? I hear what Balaam say now. And this is what the word God put in him out. Eh? Mm -hmm. He say, can't defile God. He say, from the top of the rocks I see him, and from the hills I behold him. Lo, the people shall dwell alone, and shall not be reckoned among the nations. Who can count the dust of Jacob, and the number of the fourth part of Israel? Let me die the death of the righteous and let my, 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 my last end be like this. So Balak turned to Balaam and said, Hey, and I tell you why curse the people, you're blessing them. Now Balaam pronounced some of the greatest blessings on Israel. Some of the okay. most, um, you know, the, the, you know when, 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 a, when a prophet speaks and, and, and he bless them, right? Yeah. So, 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 so that's what was going on now um, with Balaam, right? Now, mm -hmm. um, I, I see. I wasn't seeing you, so I was feeling kind of lonely. Yeah. So, uh -huh. so what I happened? Real, I realized I was reading from your notes. Yeah. Yeah. I, I was I reading from the Bible. I didn't want to. I didn't want to quote any scripture that uh, people that is going to be wrong. So yeah. here it is now. Balaam was speaking to God, and God was speaking to Balaam. Mm -hmm. And Balaam now went to curse Israel. So when he go to curse Israel now, go, and God tell I will put the words in him out. So he started to bless Israel. And it's three or four times Balaam and bless Israel, some be a beautiful and blessing Israel God. So mm -hmm. God started to bless Balaam. So what I'm saying is that people who see God, some people who, who say that 
for some reason, I don't know, I'm not going to uh, I'm debated. Some people who claim to be prophets may be seeking God. And they may be saying the things that God uh, allowed them to see. Right. right? And some mm -hmm. people speak their word and say God tell them to say that. So right. we have to be able, we, we have to test the word. We have to see a prophet must edify in the New Testament, a prophet. The Bible says they must edify, they must exhort, and they must bring comfort. So if a prophet speaking to somebody and you're testing the word, how you test the word of a prophet? Is it edifying you? Right? Is it building you up? I'm yeah. building you up. I'm bringing you closer mm -hmm. to Jesus. Is it, is, it, is it bringing comfort? Is it bringing hope to you? Yeah. Right? The, the word that mm -hmm. the prophet brings. And, and, the, and the third one, and, and the other one is to exhort. Is it teaching you something? Are you learning something from the word the prophet brings? Right. So that's New Testament prophet. Mm -hmm. Right? And if you study um, um, and the prophets uh, from the Jewish perspective, it is not what we perceive prophets to be in the West. Remember I spoke about prophets, about the, the, uh, the Western thinking, the Western mindset came, uh, came out of, the, uh, of, of Greek um, science and Greek uh, um, philosophy. Right. We had to study animals and, and, um, and animal behavior and nature, where mm -hmm. um, the Bible, the, 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 the five books and, 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 and Jewish thinking is human nature. So everything, and I said before, God works in tandem with people. God don't do anything unless, he, he, un, unless his prophets know. So when somebody is prophesying to you and giving you a word, test it. Is it bringing comfort? Is it edifying you? And is it exhorting? Well, then you don't listen to it. Yeah. You understand the point I'm making? Plus, mm -hmm. some prophets prophesy for money like Balaam. He, and Balaam was a mercenary. So Balaam was doing anything for money. Anything right. Balaam was doing it was for money. He blessed people, but he was seeking God. That is why he was successful. A right. success, he, a Balaam was a successful um, uh, um, 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 man or, or, or a man who blessed or cursed because it's God who blessed and cursed through Balaam. Right. We see now where the, 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 and the Moabite king telling Balaam, hey, here what's going on? Um, um, you, you curse them. And then God telling them, where well, I put in your mouth, you open. So when the prophet come to curse, uh, when and Balaam, I went to curse um. Israel, he blessed them mm -hmm. instead because it's God he was depending on. Mm -hmm. Good? So yeah. I'm not saying, I, I, I'm not saying, I'm testing the word. I test it. And yeah, if yeah, a prophet yeah. gave me a word, I test in the word. Yeah. And if somebody, I'm, and, and you have to be, I'll be careful of people saying, thus say the Lord, God say this. Because in these last days, God is speaking to us through his son, Jesus Christ. Yeah. Who has already spoken. Yeah. You understand know, what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And what we need now, and what we have in us now is the Holy Spirit who will guide us and lead us into all truth. The Spirit yeah. of truth dwells in us. I was reading, um, I was reading um, Genesis today, I'm uh, uh, um, Revelation today, where Jesus was speaking. He said, listen, in, in, in chapter 3 in Revelation, where Jesus sealed the scenes, right? And yeah. he sealed them because they, they, they kept the logos, the word of his patience. Now that word patience here yeah, translated from a Greek word, which means steadfastness. Okay. So if it was Old Testament, and Jesus spoke in Old Testament, the, the word of faith, because steadfastness and and, and um steadfastness and 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 and, and firmness is is, is 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 what faith is in the old testament. Conviction right. is in the new testament, is the word, the same thing. So and what I'm saying here now is that somebody might come and many people might want to, you know, try that follow fashion and they might want to prophesy on people. Mm -hmm. And they're going to prophesy and play as a prophet and give any a word. But I remember Moses said, both in, 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 um, in, in, in the Old Testament, I would that everybody would prophesy. Right. Right? Everybody mm -hmm. should prophet. Now, God create people. The church should be producing leaders. The leaders, that are by extension, are supposed to create disciples who would then become leaders. Yeah. And you understand what I'm saying? So we have to be very careful with who we're speaking to, how we're speaking, and how we're dealing with, uh, with everybody who, who, who come in and give in word now. Yeah. And I'll show you why. I ain't finished yet. So Balaam tried to curse Israel about three or four times, right? Mm -hmm. But nobody, uh, he couldn't curse them. <clears throat> so Balak begs with him. Right. Balak begs with, 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 um, uh, with, 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 um, with, 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 with uh, Balaam. So the Bibles end in, in, um, and, and the Bible end, I'm going to bike pass. <laughs> fast car or something. <laughs> so the Bible, so the Bible, you know, remember know. many centuries, there's yeah. a very noisy coming here. <laughs> so, yeah, I know. So what happened now? So what happened now? 
Asura apa no balak? Yeah, he was. 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 I think nah, the, the, okay. um, and the Midianites. Midi okay. So check what going on. So Bela, all the fila was the Anna Balaam. Mm -hmm. I was the Anna Balaam, you know. So Balaam, who was seeking God, forward to curse them. And God used to allow Balaam to curse who he cursed and bless mm -hmm. who, who, who he wanted to bless. Balaam couldn't curse who he was getting paid to curse now. Right. So the Obia man. Yeah. Isn't it allegor allegorical, you know? Yeah. And the Obia man couldn't curse. Obia man couldn't curse the person that the, uh, that they asked him to curse. Right. He couldn't he, because God is allowing them to do that. Yeah. So we're looking now, based on that scripture, that an Obia man can't curse anybody unless God allow it. Right. All who go in by Obia people and see a man and feel like they're they doing anything, or by these people and feel they like could do anybody anything. The mm -hmm. only way somebody could be cursed is if God allowed them to. If, if, if God allowed the Obia man to curse, and there's nothing he do, it's just God allowed that. And there's a perfect example, is Job, eh? A perfect yeah. example of that is Job, you know? Yeah. yeah. But, and you see, prophets, people who, who pretend to be prophesying and, and looking for money, I want to show you the end. I want to show you the end of those people. I'll show you their personality and what they do. So here, what they do now? God is functioning, you can't curse the person, and you can't bless. You can't bless people too. Who God mm -hmm. they want bless eh? mm -hmm. Right? So mm -hmm. Balaam could, uh, could have blessed people. But the only way he could have blessed people is if God tell him, okay, bless you. Bless you. Yeah. yeah. Right? <coughs> Excuse me, sorry, God. That's how it is. Go study them and them who work and all them things. And the reason why I'm saying this, eh? Because I had a dream. It was a terrible dream. That dream was so terrible. I saw some things happen in that dream. That I wake up praying for the, the whole nation and for people. Praying. Mm -hmm. I just praying. Intense. Intense prayer, mm -hmm. right? And when I, when I searched the dream now, uh, it had a couple of things uh, in Revelation I, show, I saw, but I ain't going into that. Mm -hmm. All I do is praying right now. I ain't telling nobody on what I see, I ain't seeing what going on. Me and a prophet to, to go and tell people, well, I see this, I see that. I just had a dream and it didn't look too good. And I start praying and interceding for the people. Right. Yeah. It didn't look too good. But I end up searching all the dream or, 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 or what I saw in the dream, if that is. is, is, is it's not unwritten, or if, if we have to expect that in the book of, of Revelation and you know in the end times. And that's mm -hmm. all I do. So I'm bringing that up here on, on, on top here. So so what happened now? I saw that dream and then I went and that's how I ended up in Revelation on look and fit. Mm -hmm. I end up in the book of Revelation. So I'm going in, uh, you know, I'm going in there and I see him. The reason I'm speaking about this today is because while studying the book of Revelation and looking now, when God bring all these plagues and curse. You know, the seven plagues and all these things and people and happen, mm -hmm. you know, people still a repent, boy. <laughs> the Bible says that they didn't repent. People still yeah. a repent. People yeah. seen all this thing happening. We're going through all this. Today's 500 and something cases. Hmm. And, you know, like nine or ten people die and all this still a repenting, boy. Yeah. All this still, all this still sharing. I set a, um, I set a porn all over the place. Nobody again on the knees and praying. I, mm -hmm. I, 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 I don't have a problem with the jokes. I enjoy the jokes, but come now, man, time to repent. Yeah, yeah. yeah. How, long, how, long, how long you will see this? And that is why I, I just keep praying for people to repent because what I see happening there is nothing nice, right? Mm -hmm. It's a rough time. It's nothing nice. Good. It's time for us to repent. It's time, I'll tell you something to the book of numbers. You know what happened? Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll show you something. I'll, I'll show you something. When. Mo, 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 when when Israel wo, wo, became the Moabites' neighbors, eh? mm -hmm. right? Israel yeah. became the Moabites and the and the uh, and the Midianites' neighbors. So here what going on? As they go on in verse twenty five of, of of the time reading from it, I just I just mm -hmm. I'm talking about it. When you go on into, into chapter twenty five of Numbers, you will see, right? Where mm -hmm. and you know what happened? Or or, or, or 24, 23, 24. You know what happened? The Bible says, and the children of Israel start to come 
and uncle met hold them with the Midianites and thing and marry them. Right. But after they started, uh, after they started to, to, to come at hold them, it means that, that, that they were fornicating and uh, committing adultery with these strange women. Eh? And these women from right. next door. Right. They were fornicating and committing adultery with the women from next door, the neighbors. Right. Right. I had a read as well for you. According to people, you have sense. And you have sense. <laughs> you big and you have sense. You big and you have sense. They were yeah. fornicating when God was blessing them. Now, here it is the people you know. God just protect all you and bless all you know. Yeah. God tell Balaam bless the people. Now the people didn't know the, what was going on behind the scenes with yeah. Balaam who looking to curse them behind the scenes and Balak, you know. Yeah. People didn't know that. There's that situation going on behind the scenes with God, Balak, and Balaam. Balaam is right. the one they hired to curse. Balak yeah. is the one who wanted to de and, and destroy it and the, 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 and the children of Israel. And God come in and step in and protect Israel. Tell them, hey, here yeah. what happened. No, 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 no. You can't, you, you can't curse my people, boy. Yeah. But they take over, right? So you know yeah. what happened? The people, you know, God just save all, you know. Yeah. All they living in peace, all they enjoy, all they, all, 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 all they going on there in peace and, and all they surviving. The people yeah. did not know that God just protect them because they ain't really studying that, right? They ain't know. Mm -hmm. So they, they, they come now after God do all that for all you. You know all they do and protect all you. Mm -hmm. Protect all you from being cursed. You know what they do? They went and, and, um, and started to fornicate and commit adultery. With the neighbors. And for those who are no Bible talk, they went and had sex with the, um, with the, with the Moabite women, the neighbors yeah. from yeah. next door, the strange women who come in, who, right. who, who, who come in the land. So mm -hmm. they went down and started to fornicate and commit adultery with them. Right? They started to commit adultery. And when they started to commit adultery and think with them, you know what happened? Because mm -hmm. of strange women, women, they started to... Um, uh, uh, um, 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 uh, uh, and commit idolatry too. Right. They start to worship the strange gods with the women. Right. So they first they gone with us with, with a, 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 the neighbor. Yeah. Right. And the neighbor things were so nice now, and they were so sweet with the neighbor. You know, you know what? They start to worship the neighbor god too, and right. leave out their god, and right. and they step out from where they were. So they were out, and they were misled. Yeah. One by going the woman because God was spoke to the, the Israeli um, children and them. The, the mm -hmm. Israelites. Then after that, now you know what they do? They start to worship the God too. Right. So start off with sex. The other how start off. And then you know what happened? They start up the, the, the well in, in these days, and they say they get demon possessed how many people and whoever they're worshiping. So they right. start now worshiping the God of the woman they was with. Right. M many times you see that happening. Yeah. And that's why the Bible speaks of be, no, no, I'm being I'm not being unequally yoked. Because right. Solomon, who feel he was the wisest man, he did the same thing. Right? The Bible says that a king, three things a king shouldn't have or lost after or have plenty of his horse, woman, and 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 something as I can't remember now, but his horse and woman and something and, else. And, so, so I can't remember. Mm -hmm. Right? So here it is now. Um Solomon, who was the wisest man, get tired for that. And by the way, all yeah. these strange wives and, 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 and look what happened to Israel. Right, yeah. and he was the king. So the same, and these people are strong enough. Half of them fellas and children are strong enough, right? Yeah. And we see happening, right? Up to last True. week, somebody not last week, this week, a friend called me. You see, sister and the husband separate, and the husband um um I'm beating up the woman and all kind of thing, right? Mm -hmm. He called me to try and see if I could get somebody to have them. But anyway, that, and they had a different story. But the, the story I want to bring out is that they're following these strange women. Yeah. So the 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 the, 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 the Israeli the Israelites men the, the the Jewish men, the children of Israel, the Jewish men, all they ain't going to the promised land yet. All they ain't nothing. All they ain't even accomplished what all they set out to do. All they ain't yeah. even finished the mission, but all they looking for pleasure in the middle of everything. They ain't reached yeah. nowhere. They ain't reached the promised land. So they feel that they, 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 they reach. So what they do now? They, they go and they commit fornication and adultery with the woman, right? Mm -hmm. and, and commit fornication and adultery with the woman. You know what happened? Yeah. God sent a plague. Mm -hmm. God vex because you and know what God was doing behind the scenes to protect to you. Protect and you. you and know. Yeah. You and know yeah. what God was doing for you and know. Yeah. You don't know what He was doing, right? Yeah. All your things over nice, but behind the scenes, God protecting you. You and know, yeah. right? So before you, 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 and your, your holy, holy road, and 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 and, and worship God and thank God for not having all these problems. You know what you do? You're going and look and and do these things. Now here the next thing too. Mm -hmm. When the plague hit. The plague hit, you know. 
24,000 people died. I right. died already, you know. And the plague mm -hmm. was still going on, you know. Hmm. 24,000 people died. Because what they do? They go to mix with the neighbors. And by mixing, we, we, it's only women that the men didn't go. I mean, the woman, the, 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 the men come across. It's the woman, yeah. it's the woman who, who encouraged the men. Yeah, yeah. Seduce the men and bring them yeah. in. They bring in the men. And what happened? God sent a plague yeah. on Israel. Right? Mm -hmm. uh, the book of Numbers, read it from 22 mm -hmm. to, 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 to 25 to 26. Yeah. Right? So God sent a plague. I, went, I ain't saying that the reason why we have COVID. You know? I don't know the reason why we have COVID. All I'm saying, I'm speaking about Balaam the prophet mm -hmm. or, or, the, or the mercenary. So what happened now? God now sent a plague. The, 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 the people could not be destroyed spiritually because God was blessing them. Right. Right? They could not be destroyed spiritually. Yeah. And you know who destroyed them? Yeah. They destroyed their own self. You're right. Mm -hmm. They destroyed their own self. The men, God protect you from, from spiritual demise, from, from, from spiritual attacks. But you yeah. know, that's why I keep saying God works in tandem with men. Right? The men are gone. The men are gone. And God is stopping you. He's a free agent. True. And you have a free will. So you True. now go on and mix with the, with, with the neighbors now and start to worship their God and do right. the things they do and follow their culture. Technically, they don't give you worship any God, but they start following the people's culture. Right. They start following something and that uh, you're not accustomed to something strange because right. the woman influence you into doing that. Mm -hmm. So here it is now. And here we're going on. <clears throat> people follow any the culture, they follow any the woman and thing, right? Yeah. Plague come and set in. They have a plague. Mm -hmm. Right? Remember last week, I want to cut in here, but remember last week I was speaking about, about, about how God works and how, how leadership works. They have two challenges plus two types of leaders. They have leaders who are technical, who supply who would, and, pro, and provide all your food and water and electricity and things like that. And then they have mm -hmm. the adaptive challenges and leaders have where the owners yeah. and the people, the people now have to make their decision. And some of the faults is because of the people. Right. So here it is now. God has provided for them, but the adaptive challenge again has come to Israel, and this is the new generation. Yeah. So the new people now, the people go on and mix up with the woman and them, bam, God sent up like Gigabex. Because yeah. they worship. And then the first um, instance I hear of worshiping idols apart from the, the, and the golden calf, right? Yeah. So here it is now, God sent up like 24 of them just fall on like fly and dying all over the place. A fella by the name of Zimri now. He's a leader mm -hmm. of the people. Eh? Mm -hmm. Zimri pick up a Midianite woman named Cosby, C O Z B I. Mm -hmm. Right? So Zimri pick up Cosby from the Midianite now and go in the middle of the camp and start to make love to the woman. Oh, Literally, a pornography going on in the middle of the camp. Right. Pornography in the middle of the camp. Like what we have going mm -hmm. on all over Trinidad now. Well, let's yeah. porn. Every time pick up your phone, it's porn. Pornography, the fella put on a a striptease show, a live striptease show in the middle of the camp where God used to be with the people. Oh Lord. So they defy so the camp. <clears throat> they defy the camp. No? Mm -hmm. here going, he in the middle of the camp, making love to one in the middle of everybody seeing. It's in the Bible. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Look in the book of Numbers between 25, um, 22, 23, 24, 25. I, I want to end in 30. I will show what going on and what happened there. So here yeah. it is now. Zimri now, a leader of the people. Pick up a, a, a girl, a woman from mm -hmm. the, 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 um, the a Midianite tribe and go making love in the middle of the camp. So right. that, and look what he's doing. Pornography going on in the middle of the camp. Yeah. He put on a live show. Yeah. So you know what a fellow named Penhas do? Yeah. Now Penhas, I ain't care about nobody. Penhas take a knife and stab two of them together and kill both of them in the middle right. of the camp in front of everybody while the two of them are making love. One knife right. and he kill the two of them. Right? Kill two of them one time. Mm -hmm. Penhas killed two of them. So when Penhas killed two of them now, he killed two of them. Our partner, plague stop. God, say, you know, he tell uh, Penhas, you know what you do there, boy? And, and you know, he, 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 he do what I wanted to do or, 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 or he fulfilled God's purpose by killing two of them in the camp. Right. But you know what God do? And what should God do after? Mm -hmm. He make Penhas a, a man of peace. Don't ever do that again. No, go ahead and tell you, go and kill the two of them. But because they do it now, I will say, okay. But don't do that again. And that's what God okay. tells you. Know? 
he, okay. he, 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 he made him a man of peace and Penas now eventually became a peaceful man after that. Right. Because you, you, he, he, I mean, he, 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 till he was doing a God's work, so he stabbed the man. He killed the two of them. Like right. how some people want to kill people with their tongue. Right. Right? So when Penhas killed the, the, the two men who was committing this sin, go tell them, don't do that again. I want to do that, but leave that for me. You don't do that. Right. Right? So mm -hmm. all who want to kill people with their tongue now, go and like them kind of thing. Mm -hmm. and, and, and not even, if it's a sinner, leave that for God to do. Right. So what I, I, I shouldn't, I shouldn't in, in, uh, anything. So what happened now? When all that going on there now, they get killed. <clears throat> God call uh, Moses now and tell him you're gonna go and attack them and Moabites and the and the and them people and them. Mm -hmm. Kill all the men. Mm -hmm. Kill all the men and kill all the women who slept who has who has known a man. Keep the children and the um the children who has never slept with a man and mm -hmm. the young girls, right? Well, I'm mm -hmm. gonna kill all of them. So they go there now and then and this is in chapter 30. Yeah? I wish I'm chapter 30 or 31 in, um, in, Exodus, in, in the book of Numbers. So here what God said to when you go and kill, I will kill, I will kill Balak. Mm -hmm. When I go, I will go and kill all them. Plus, I will kill Balak. Right. And you know who I will kill too? I oh. want you to kill Balaam. Oh, God. Who? Yes, I will kill Balaam. Who caused the men of Israel to go with the Moabite women? Who, who, who caused that? So you know what Balaam do? The prophet, he ain't getting money by cursing the people. You know what Balaam went and do? He went and advised. He encouraged. He encouraged the, the king. Um, 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 he encouraged and Balak. He said, here we're going on. Well, here we're going. If you were God to curse them people and them, here we're mm -hmm. If you were God to curse them people, God don't like idolatry. But if you want to get God vexed, God don't like idol idolatry. Don't worship no other gods before me. Yeah. Right? And do one and 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 um and, and fornicate with a woman. But most of all, most of all, do commit uh, and do one commit idolatry. Right. Do one run down no other gods before me. Those do those stand up in no place and say in, in a place that is not um sanctified for God. And you don't do do do, do play you pray in turn and God and say you're thinking about Jehovah or Jesus Christ. Right. But then so stupid as all of that. Yeah. You're big and you have sense. So here we're going on. Balak. And Balaam, the, and the both of them, conspire to pull mm -hmm. down Israel. So how he go yeah. pull down Israel? He, he couldn't work spiritually. Mm -hmm. So they deceive Israel, they, 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 they seduce the Israeli mm -hmm. men. So God go punish them. Okay. If you read, if you read um, um, chapter 31, yeah, you see where God said, look, kill Balak too. I said, well, that was the end of Balaam because Balak went away. Balaam right. went away. Mm -hmm. Right? And the two of them go on their way. But, but, and Balaam now he wanted the the the, the, the popularity. And Balaam, uh, 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 um, you know, he, he he looking for all the all the perks now, nah. all yeah. the perks of cursing people and, and things. So he couldn't curse them through God because and God they working with here again. Yeah. So he decided to to, to to use the flesh now. Right. Remove any flesh because of the knowledge he had of God. Right. How many people we see? No, because they know how God has operated. They, they, they're moving in the flesh to deceive people. Yeah, yeah. Plenty of them in the flesh now, and they're moving in the flesh to deceive people. So, But we don't know that strategy already. Mm -hmm. Once you don't sense the anointing, and the presence of the living God, and yokes are not destroyed, and burdens are not removed, then you know what that person saying there has no anointing in it, because the anointing True. destroyed the yokes and removed the burden. So, yes. yeah, so, so what we see going on now, Balak went, went, and 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 um tell um and Balaam and tell Balak here we're gonna set up all them young girls and them, all them women and them, and send them by the man and them. And once they fall in love, they made the man. Well, remember them fellas in the bush all the time, eh? Right. Remember Israel was in the bush. You now people okay. come out from the bush and come in town, they just get they light up now. So you have Israel yeah. now was in the bush, they in the wilderness all the time. So they come in town. And when right. they come in town now and they see they woman, right? They get, they get bright. bright. So they come in town yeah. now and they see woman, they get bright. So mm -hmm. they go on with the woman and them start to run them down. They want to lie with them old uh, Israeli woman and them, them I'm just saying that and I'm and the woman in church they, they dress still they, and they dress too long, they always covering up their chest. I want to have I, I, I like them girls and them outside because they're showing off everything now. Yeah. So they feel the thing. Mm -hmm. Right? 
But yeah, yeah, yeah. when and it was a new generation that come out from the bush, they come out from I I I ain't fooling it is in the Bible. Yeah, they come yeah. out from the wilderness, they come out from the bush. Come in town now, they, 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 and they mix up and the first time they see people and neighbors and them are Midianites and the the um the uh, and, and, and the and the and the Moabite woman and them. The, and they mm. must be, and the skin must be white now. The skin must be fair and white, and they must be bathing and spraying up perfume and thing. They smell like right. them bush girl and them. Yeah, was in the jungle yeah, yeah. all the, was in the wilderness with God all the time. The sudden who dress up nice and put on makeup and all, and they must be well put on earring and thing. Yeah, so they yeah, go yeah. with them now. And what happened? Yeah. What happened? As they go with them now, a, a thing hit. And 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 the, and the whole life ended up in an Plague. Mm-hmm. Plague, yeah. A plague come and hit them. And we see all these things happening today. All mm-hmm. these things are happening today. Right? Not only in trend, that is happening all over the world. Yeah. Right? So the the, the, the the gist of the story is don't take people yeah, don't know going on behind the scene too yeah <clears throat> yeah yeah, yeah God, number one don't <clears throat> take, don't take anybody's um word for test the word test every word yeah so i will i will end and don't see. rush the gun don't rush the gun <laughs> you uh, know listen, because, you, because you don't know what's going on behind the scene you don't know how god protecting us behind the scene you don't know? get ahead of God. Yeah. And don't yeah. follow the lust of the flesh. Where sin comes from? The lust of the eyes. Or, or it, yeah. it starts in your heart. What's it? Your yeah. heart and your eyes. So it starts yeah. in your heart now, in your heart. Guard your heart. Guard mm-hmm. your heart. Don't allow your heart to, to your, your mind to wander, to shriek, and, 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 and to feel that what what's what, what, what going on next door and how many people and I'm looking better than what I have. You have God with True. you. You have the spirit True. of the living God dwelling with you. You have the protection of God. You always have the protection of God. You may not yeah, see it, true. but God working behind the scenes to help you. Yeah, true. Right? God is working yeah. behind the scenes. Yes. So, as I say... You wouldn't see it now. You wouldn't no. see it now, but you will see eventually see it, you know? But as I said before, God's people don't work by sight. We work no. by faith. Faith coming yeah. by hearing. And hearing now, I will show you something. Eh? Yeah. Mm-hmm. If how a magician and, and they deceive people, how how v- virtual reality does deceive people by a sight? Well, they can see, yeah. Well, you by can a see. sight, you can be deceived. Mm-hmm. A magician can only mm-hmm. deceive you with your eyes, yeah, right. But he can't yeah. deceive you by what you hear, because you know what you hear. I hear mm-hmm. if I hear somebody say something, I I hear you because people can say, oh, I didn't mean to say that. Uh-huh. Out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speak it. So if you want to know. And we don't listen to people. If you want to know what is inside somebody or what they're thinking or what is in their heart, let's listen to what they say. We, and we don't listen yeah. now because you need like to talk more than listen. But if you listen, right. you the amount of things you will hear. I saw yeah. an article recently, a study, and we had to say visual, um, um, your eyes, your sight, um, you know, um, your visual, um, um, your ability to retain uh, something you see with your eyes um, is 70%. And this, yes, you can see, remember it with the eye, but it doesn't. It, it doesn't mean that it is the truth. No, but this exactly because let me tell you, they said like a a, a song, a song, mm-hmm. music. You can mm-hmm. associate that from a child. Yeah. Go straight up to adulthood. They could go back to that moment with music. Yeah. Something a song that you heard. You know, you associate it with something. You understand? And it also affects the atmosphere. Song and music yes. affects the atmosphere because the vibration yeah. from the song changes the atmosphere. True. Depends on what, what song you're listening to. True. The vibrations change the atmosphere. I mean, we listen to music in church and you're praising and worshiping. It changes the whole atmosphere. Yeah. And, and why wait till you reach your church? Why look, wait till you reach your church? Well, listen, you know? to, right, look, and look at that yeah. thing on, 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 uh, on the news today where a billion just uh, started rock just so in China. 980 foot. Building sat a rock people around the building, they're shaking. No earthquake, nothing. The, the, mm-hmm. um, the engineer says something called uh, um, resonance. The people jump in and think, well, me, me, you know, I, I know, I, I know engineers, so me, I know if it's true. But I'm speaking about the song and the vibration affect. It can come like, um, and like them boys and them uh, around the, the, the walls of Jericho. Is the same, is, is the resonance that bro- caused the wall to fall, if what the, the, and these people say. So the song. Right. The song, the music, and the worship will probably break down walls that we don't even see. True. True. Right? So, mm-hmm. um, having said all that, I still have the question to ask. 
Same question, I started off with. If, if Mecca mash up, if al aqsa must mash up, if the Vatican mash up, right? Well, you know, the temple in Jerusalem are mash up. If these places mash up, mm -hmm. is that the end of Islam and Roman Catholicism? Mm -hmm. If a church mash up and yeah. burn down, a church, is that the end of Christianity? So why should we place so much emphasis on whether we in church or we in church? We should place the emphasis on the on on on, on, on your life. Place the emphasis on, on, on serving God. Place the emphasis yes. on your brother and your sister. Do the things. Because I keep saying that the temple mash and burn, and burn down in AD 70. Rome burned yeah. down in 80 70 because they had a rebellion. Has yeah. has has the, is the uh, has, has Israel deteriorated or disappeared? Has Judaism and been destroyed? No, the Holocaust, no. all them thing, it has not been destroyed, right? If, if you have faith, which is what these three religions and believe in, and they have mm -hmm. the same father Abraham, all this kind of join the three of them together: Christianity, Islam, and um, and, and Judaism, because they're the same father. No? Everybody come, yeah. come, come from the same root. So what mm -hmm. I'm saying now is that if the faith, if your faith uh, is rooted in a building, then when that building is destroyed, that's the end of your faith. Yeah, or oh, close and I'm all oh, close like no, or whatever. Yeah, true. Yeah. So then your faith should not be in the place you worship, but from the position that you are worshiping God in. Your yes. position, your, your, your personal position is where your worship should come from and not from the place you're worshiping. Yes. Because we are the church, we are the temple of the Holy Ghost. We yes. carry the Holy Spirit with us everywhere we go. Mm -hmm. Right? And, and, and the only people who would recognize that is people who. God and, and, and ministers have trained to be leaders where we could think on our own, function yeah. on our own, right? Do things on our own and not follow blindly behind people who may not be led by the spirit of the living God. Yes. So that is the whole, the whole thing about it. I ain't come up to so, it because... So, 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 um, <clears throat> go ahead. Yes, yeah, some soul searching you have to do, you know. Well, I think, let me tell you, as I say... That is really food for thought. I think we need to repent. Yeah. We need to repent because, yeah. as I say, the, the way the, the the you know, I I don't really come out and tell people to repent and all that kind of thing. But I feel that we have to. People have to repent, and it's not God who have to repent for the people. So don't pray to God for the people to repent. The people have to repent on their own. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? The people yeah. must repent on their own. God can repent for you. No. He already he already provide he already provided the, 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 the opportunity by sending his son Jesus Christ to die on the cross here. Right? He provided mm -hmm. the opportunity for, for eternal life by, by, by sending his son and Jesus Christ to die for the sins of the world. All you have to do is to accept the covenant, is mm -hmm. accept the work of the cross, right? Repent, change your mind, change your mindset, change the way you're going. Yeah. And and then you will see, and, and I mean it, it, it mightn't chase COVID. But at least the way you're facing the situation, you'll be in a better position. True. You'll be more confident. Mm -hmm. Now, and the question is, people afraid now. Everybody afraid. Is it because you're afraid to die of COVID or you're afraid to die on the whole? Mm -hmm. Because if you're afraid to die, right, you could get, yeah, you could die by, by, by a lot of different ways. You could die crossing the road. The way half of them just drive on the road and they could die by accident. They could die yeah. by cancer because cancer run, and running a muck all over the place. There are mm -hmm. many other ways they could die other than COVID. Right? So you ask yourself, if I'm afraid to die, just die, or I'm afraid to die from COVID or get COVID. And I think the answer is people are afraid to die because they realize, hey, mortality. I am a mortal. Mm -hmm. No, I could die. Look at how much people are dying. Mm -hmm. What better time to repent than now? I'm not... I'm praying on people's fear. True. I'm just telling you what better time is up to yeah. you. The choice is yours. Right? Well, mm -hmm. And you're going to call me. And we're and we in a room in our church for it to come. And we want to mix with nobody around now. We're practicing social mm -hmm. distancing. And by miles yeah. too. But mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's not six feet. It's six miles. Go come six miles away. <laughs> I'm waiting in our church there. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Go, go to somebody else. But the point is, it's time to repent, man. It's time to repent. Call a friend. Call somebody. I agree somebody. with that. 
Yeah. Unless somebody agree, agree with me and say, let's not want to because, like, as, as I was saying, Sunday, they, we think we have the time. You know, we, we have time to enjoy yeah. ourselves, you know. That's what it is. We think we have time. Jesus probably taking a little too long, but, yeah. you know. But we, we have time now, you know. So, yeah. Listen, you have to, and you have to, and you have to do everything while it is day. For night come, I have to work a while it is day for the night come at where no man can work. Yes. You understand? Mm -hmm. And I want to get them fellas and them, um, um, and them fellas who practicing. And the, the New Testament, I talk about Balaam, you know? Okay. The New Testament, I talk about Balaam. I, I, I'm going to get some, 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 some Old Testament scriptures that talk about Balaam there one time. Mm -hmm. Right? Numbers 2 and 26, right? And not 2 and 26. And let me go down a little bit. Deuteronomy. Chapter 23 and verse 5. Nevertheless, the Lord thy God would not hearken unto Balaam, but the Lord thy God turned the curse into a blessing unto thee, because the Lord thy God loved thee. The God love you. Joshua chapter 24 and verse 10. But I would not hearken unto Balaam. That's God speaking here. Therefore, mm -hmm. he blessed you still. So I delivered you out of his hand. Nehemiah chapter 13 and verse 2. Because they met not the children of Israel with bread and water, but hired Balaam against them, that he should curse them. That is how God turned the curse into a blessing. Okay? So, what I'm saying here now is that all things work together for good to them that love the Lord and to those mm -hmm. who are called according to his purpose. If God bless you, if God bless you, then nobody could curse you. Don't fear any word anybody see. Don't worry about what people see to you. If God is for you, then who could be against you? True. If Christ be for you, then who could be against you? Now, what I'm saying, don't be afraid. Don't worry. But as I say, after this dream and a reading um, and revelation, I want to implore you people, stay away from idolatry. Stay away from all these wicked people you're going by to do this obia thing. You're not going to get money and COVID are going to die by going and worship this, the, 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 you know, in these places where these people tell you. Or, or, mm -hmm. or, 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 or going and collect two white rats, some macawell fat, donkey blood and a rabbit spore like what Sparrow say. Don't mm -hmm. go and do those things. Yeah. It's an abomination unto the Lord. And mm -hmm. it will only encourage that curse to come to your home. Right? Yeah. The Lord don't like that. Stay away from that. Whatever is coming, God, re re repent now. Repent. Repent. And, and seek the Lord Jesus Christ as the Lord and Savior. You might not have time. True. Even people dying and getting COVID. This might be the last time you're hearing us speak about something. Mm -hmm. Good? Time to repent. Get yourself together. Tomorrow is and doesn't belong to you. Tomorrow is the Lord's. Yes. I will end there. Let my, my last word is to repent. Yes. Change your mind, move away from the way you're going now. And I'm speaking to everybody who, 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 who want to continue and figure did this thing will just pass. Yes, it may just pass, but it may not just pass too. Yeah. So it's best you prepare for the long haul and get yourself right with God. At least you will, you will and go through this challenge and these tribulations and testing. And this is just a test we're going through, you know. And I yes. want everybody there to pass the test. The book mm -hmm. of Revelation speaks about the, 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 the test, the test of the last hour. The test in the last hour is a test. Just to, uh, it, it, it's just to see how resilient and see who willing to change and who is not. This is just a mm -hmm. test. Mm -hmm. Go fail the test. Give the life to Jesus Christ now. I'm asking you. Yes. This is just a test. Yes. Go ahead, Sarah. Yeah. I'm thirsty. Like I eat salt. <laughs> I'm more dry like I, I, I like it again. My soul fish. You're talking too much. You're talking for one, four minutes now. Yeah, but I had to let go. Yeah, no, it was good. It was good. So the messages that went out there, repent. Yeah. You know, repent, repent. Now, don't wait for tomorrow. Don't wait for. Don't wait for anybody. You understand? Repent yeah. now. Call upon the name of the Lord. Call upon Jesus' name. You know, He He is um the way. He is the way. You understand? So. There's no other name by which men can be saved. And that name is Jesus Christ. So this is not a religion that we present to you. This is a relationship with the Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. 
And it's not our words, it's the words written in the holy book, the Bible, right? So um, we just close off with a word of prayer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so Heavenly Father, we just thank you, God, tonight, Lord, for your word, oh God, Heavenly Father, for your revelation, most of all, oh God. We pray, oh God, Lord, that every person who's locked on this afternoon, oh God, under the sound of our voice, oh God, we pray, Lord, that... Um, you know, they will have a heart of repentance tonight, oh God. Yes. Oh, pull the wool from their eyes tonight, oh God, Heavenly yes, Father. Remove it, all the scales from their eyes, oh God. Remove the logs from their eyes to see, Heavenly Father, that none of us are perfect, oh God, Lord. But that all of us have come short, have fallen short, oh God, Lord. And we need to confess our sins before you, oh God, and we need to repent, oh God. Daily we have to work out our salvation, oh God. We pray, O oh God, for a heart of repentance over Trinidad and Tobago, oh God. Save our country, O oh God, Heavenly Father, That's and good. stop the plague, O oh God, Heavenly Father. And Lord God, we just thank you right now that you are moving in the hearts of your people tonight. You are drawing them unto you, O oh God, Lord. Heavenly Father, have mercy upon our lives. Have mercy upon our country. Have mercy upon our churches, especially, O oh God, Heavenly Father. And Lord, tonight we just thank you for doing it, oh God. Meet each person at the, under the sound of our voices at their point of need tonight, oh God, Lord. Meet them there tonight. Let them have an experience in their homes, in their cars, in their offices, wherever they are, oh God, Lord. Let them have a moment with your Holy Spirit. Could go and just meet everybody everywhere at the same time, oh God, Lord. And Lord, tonight we say that you are sovereign, O oh God, Lord. In the midst of a storm and challenge, O oh God, Lord, you remain sovereign. You remain God seated on that throne, O oh God, tonight, Lord. And Heavenly Father, we will continue to trust your plan and your hand as well, too, O oh God, Heavenly Father. And we just bless your name tonight. And um, we continue to pray for the peace of Jerusalem, O oh God, Heavenly Father. We just, just reign peace over that nation tonight, O oh God, Lord. We just pray, O oh God, that your, your spirit will just go through and just sweep through peace through that land, O oh God, Lord. We were instructed to pray for their peace, and we ask you tonight, God, give them peace in the midst of this war, God, in the midst of their battles tonight, O oh God, Lord. And bless them, O oh God, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. So we just want to remind you that we don't delete any of our broadcasts. All are here for you to go back and listen to. And, um, you know, we'll be back again on Sunday morning at 10 a.m. And um, we do hope you were um, blessed by what was shared tonight. And um, continue to have a blessed week and stay safe. Do practice your three W's, wear your mask, watch your distance, and um, wash your hands. Right? Yeah. So, yeah, 3W. So, keep practicing. You know, I, was looking, I was looking at something last night, right? Yeah. Back in the 19, 19, 19 or whenever it is, mm -hmm. where it was. They had, they had a lady and they had a, 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 a advertisement or, or a, a, a advice onto the people. They say, um, I heard they say, and they say, bro, bro, wash your mouth, brush your teeth, right? <laughs> wash your mouth. <laughs> Brush your teeth. <laughs> um, and then they say, um, wear a mask. And the other one is um, donut. Um, avoid stress and worries. Now, th that is the only thing that I'm not seeing now that they spoke about from the 19, the, the last pandemic, which they call the Spanish flu. Stay away from stress or avoid stress and worries. No. You know why it will deplete your um your your autoimmunity. Yeah. Your so the defense. best way, the best way to avoid stress is to read your Bible. Read your Bible. You understand and pray, mm -hmm. and you would mm -hmm. find. I telling you, just like Balaam, who a was Balaam, yeah. I was you know Balaam was not Christian. Yeah. Balaam I was not Jew. Balaam was a Ovia man, right? And they call him a prophet because he used to prophesy. But he, he go to God, right? So technically, mm -hmm. the, 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 the old um, scribes and them call, call them a mercenary and type thing. He, he didn't mm -hmm. belong to no people and no, no thing, right? He wasn't loyal. But I want to tell you something. Balaam, right? God used to visit Balaam. 
God used to visit Balaam. You know why? Because he used to see God. So what I'm saying to people here today, you, 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 you mightn't be a Christian, you, and you mightn't be um, a Jew, or whatever it is, but if you seek the Lord, God, Jehovah, the living God, with all your heart and all your mind and all your spirit and all your soul, God will visit you. I guarantee that. You know what? I can guarantee that. That is written in the word of God. And God is not a man that he should lie, nor the son of man that he should repent. And if it is written, and, and that is, is in the Bible, right? Anybody who call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Be saved, yes. I don't care where you're from. I don't care where you do. I don't care, I don't care what you do. I don't care what sin you commit. There's no sin that anybody could commit that God is not, I'm going to forgive and God is not, I'm going to visit that person if they repent. Yeah. So don't, 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 don't start, sorry, why do? Well, you know why I do in my life, you know, you know how much thing I do? I know how much, and people I kill, you know how much this, um, you know, a prostitute I went with, you know what? Listen, there's nothing God can't save a man from. He is yeah, God. True. Mm -hmm. And if, if that's what the him, enemy does, eh? that's what the yeah. enemy does. Eh? The enemy will make you feel like unworthy, and yeah. make you feel dirty before mm -hmm. God. You understand? But no, God wants God know God made us. God yeah. knows what we think, how we feel. He knows us. He made us. Yeah. You understand? He knows everything about us, and that's what the enemy you know tactic yeah, yeah, is yeah. to keep us away, to keep to keep our relationship with the Lord tarnished. You know, you know, I just say God is everywhere. I'll, I'll tell you something. Them Jews and them, right? Mm -hmm. The Jewish rabbis and them. You know, in Leviticus, it have a um, it have a um, it, it had the laws and things. And somebody, I can't remember, I can't remember which, we are in the Old Testament, have a law. Where they say, if a man hold up an next man, right? Uh -huh. If a man rob an next man, he rob the man, and he takes something from a man, they catch him, he had to replace, he had to give back the man on what he take. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. He had to replace it. But if a man go in a next man property and thief something, and go, mm -hmm. right? He thief something. He ain't hold up the man, you know. He thief something and go. Do you yeah. know the penalty is more than every man who robbed the man in person? Of course. Uh -huh. Yeah. The penalty, okay. if you look at it, I will tell you why. Mm -hmm. I will tell you one of the reasons why and them fellas say, why, why God had to say, if you rob a man, then you do it in front of the man. Right. But if you do it behind the man and you rob the man, you disrespect God because when they feel nobody else see, God see. So the penalty is bigger. And the right. penalty is greater because you disrespect God because I think nobody else sees, but God sees everything. Yes. And that is food for talk too. <laughs> yes. Yeah, it's like, it's about all like that. Because I say, mm -hmm. but how come if a man break in a man's house and thief something or thief on an animal or thief something, the, 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 the penalty is greater than the man who robbed the man. Because you, you, you choke, and, you, and you choke a knife in a man's face and take it, it, it gold chain and run with it. Right? right. Yeah. And your testament, you replace the gold chain. But if you go in the house and TV go to the other yeah, 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 it's a bigger penalty. And you know what? Because you feel God and see. You disrespect God. If you nobody yeah. else see, God see. Yes. So that is why the penalty is greater. Mm -hmm. So if all you feel, yeah. if all you feel, all you hiding looking. and doing things. And if God all you feel, all you hiding and doing things and nobody else see, God see. So and based on the, that principle, the penalty you are to pay might be bigger than if you are doing yeah. it for everybody to see. Yeah, true. I just saying. Yeah. You began your assets. So, yeah, you began your assets. <laughs> Stay safe, everybody. Stay yeah, safe. So in, yeah, don't worry it, about yeah. don't worry about COVID. Don't worry. A worry is, is going to um weaken your immune system. Yeah. Don't worry. Just spend some time on your knees every morning. The most you could do now is pray and ask God for his divine protection and practice the proper protocols and have faith. That everything will work out. Just be steadfast. Don't give up mm -hmm. and say, oh, no, be steadfast and stand firm. Because we don't know if it, it, if, if it gets worse. And what it will do. True. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Don't prepare for the worst. But just if it gets worse, no, you're covered under the blood. So even if you die in this COVID, you know where you're going. Correct. Correct. Some of us might go faster. The Lord might call, might use this as an opportunity to say, here we're going, you and you come now. 
And sometimes yeah. he would take us out of it because he don't want us to experience some of the things to come after. I discussed mm -hmm. that with you already. I say some of the yeah, things true. I see happen. I, I, I have to thank God that your mother wasn't around to see some of those things and that happened. And, and God in his wisdom, right, invited her to mm -hmm. come um, and she accepted and she gone with him. Yeah. Right? People who know God don't just die yeah. just so. They just his go. His timing is always, yeah, his timing is yeah, always you know, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you something. I'm not be talking long, but uh, uh, you, you know, it just come. I was, you, you, know, you know, that big guru fella on Facebook with a long, long beard, so? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tired. A so white guru beard? Fella. Yeah, yeah, big yeah. white beard, a guru fella. So he talking now, and he talking about life. He said when the life want to leave the body, the people that, you know, allow the life to go, don't hold back the life because it fulfill it. So then he used a, a, a snake. He used a, um, he showed a picture with him uh, I'm holding a um, with, with a snake that opened up. So. A cobra? A cobra, yeah. So he holding this cobra in his hand now and he said the cobra, like he used to mind them thing now. So the, the cobra now, when the cobra want, know it have to die. The cobra know it's going mm -hmm. to die. So the, the cobra used to go in a secluded place, in a place. They go there and stay in that place and stop eating. They do it. Okay. They know it and you know, it's it, it going to die. I want to die. I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I know cobra, so I I really know. <laughs> Why they do that? So the cobra now would go and wants to go. So any as much as he try to feed the cobra, the cobra eating no food. The snake eating no food. It eating no food. It don't mm. want the food. It just want mm. the life to go, right? Yeah. So, so I'm looking at that now. I remember my mother. Yeah. Right? You're talking about it, and I remember her same time. I remember her. She just to her uncle. She said, "Listen, you see me at 85 years old. I not. I don't want to want to lie down in no bed." I don't want to no and nobody to take care of me and and, 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 and that kind of thing. I feel like I I I, I ready to go. I want to go home. I ready to go. And she just stopped eating. Mm -hmm. As much as we try to get her to eat, she just stopped eating. Yeah. She just wanted to go home. And the way she died peaceful, right after she received communion. That in itself, I believe what the man say. Now he may not be, he, he he's not Christian. Mm -hmm. You know, religion he belonged to, but I listened to what the man was saying. Mm -hmm. And when he said that, now I could relate to what he said, the cobra do, but I experienced that with, with my mother. mother. You, you, you too, as a matter of fact. Yeah, I was sleeping with her. So, yeah. So anyway, and before you go mm -hmm. till morning, mm -hmm. um, I, 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 I want her to go outside now. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so everybody yeah. stay blessed and, 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 and you see on Sunday morning, please God. Yes. Repent. Yes, but the time is at hand. Yes. Yeah. All right. So have a blessed night and continue to have a blessed week. And we'll see you again on Sunday at 10 o'clock. Yeah. All right. So mm -hmm. stay strong.